In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, mercy and peace from our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to start the service by giving thanks and praising the holy name of the Lord God Almighty, our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. In the verse of Psalm 145. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the mighty of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his t tender mercies are over all his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your sins shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known this to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall and rises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mind shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. Our first hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Glorify Thy Name. Amen.
So we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. His salvation is near to those who fear him. His glory shall dwell in our land. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. His glory shall dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. His glory shall dwell in our land. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. His glory shall dwell in our land. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway to his feet. His salvation is near to those who fear him. His glory shall dwell in our land. Amen. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess Asha in what is wrong, and our failure to seek and establish that peace, which God wills for his children. Amen. Lord Jesus, you wept over the sins of your city. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division, jealousy and bitterness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us therefore, in a moment of silence, confess our sins before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, in penitence and faith. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who declarest thy almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity, mercifully grant unto us such a measure of thy grace, that we running the way of thy commandments may obtain thy gracious promises and be made partakers of thy heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is from Jeremiah chapter 2 from verses 4 to 13. Glory to you, O Christ. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, 
What injustice have your fathers found in me, that they have gone far from me, have followed idols, and have become idolaters? Neither did they say, Where is the Lord, who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits, through a land of drought and the shadow of death, through a land that no one crossed, and where no one dwelt, I brought you into a bountiful country to eat its fruit and its goodness. But when you entered, you defiled my land. You made my heritage an abomination. The priest did not say, Where is the Lord? And those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and walk after things that do not profit. Therefore, I will yet bring charges against you, says the Lord, and against your children's children I will bring charges. For pass beyond the coast of Cyprus and see, send to Keda and consider diligently, and see if there has been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, which are not gods? But my people have changed their glory. For what does not profit? Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, says the Lord, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hung themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. This is the word of our God. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Our second reading is from Hebrews chapter 13 from verses 1 to 8 and 15 to 16. Glory to you, O Christ. Let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing some have unwittingly entertained angels. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. Marriage is honourable among all, and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. Let your conduct be without covetousness, be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Glory to our God. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Now it happened, as he went into the house of one of the rulers of the Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath, that they watched him closely. So he told a parable to those who were invited, when he noted how they choose the best places, saying to them, when you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honourable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, Give place to this man, and then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you comes, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those who sit at the table with you. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he also said to him who invited him, When you give a dinner or a supper, do not ask your friends, your brothers, your relatives, nor rich neighbours, lest 
they also invite you back and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. This is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. Amen. May I speak in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we have just heard in our Gospel reading today, Lord Jesus Christ states, when you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honourable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, give place to this man, and then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. Amen. This is actually what happened to me. I was invited for the first time to a wedding at a church. As I didn't want to miss any moment of the ceremony, I sat down on the second row, only to be told to move to give way to the wedding crowd. Amen. And this was very, my very humbling moment. And when I was in Iceland last week, I have stayed with people whom I did not know, who kindly opened up their home to me and allowed me to stay and serve me food and drink. I couldn't repay them some money, for I did not have. As we have heard from our Gospel reading today, Lord Jesus Christ said to those who have shown such kindness to strangers as myself, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Amen. And as we have heard in our reading from Jeremiah chapter 2, Lord states, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hung themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Amen. One of which ways Lord's people committed evil is unfortunately sexual immorality. Today we have heard from our epistle reading from Hebrews that marriage is honourable among all and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. On 3rd of April this year I have met a man from Iceland. That was the reason I was in Iceland for the third time last week this summer. He was very much forthcoming regarding his feelings towards me and seeking love and friendship and he asked me to come and visit him in his own town in Iceland on the very first day we met. I initially disregarded his request for many reasons, but one being that I did not see a relationship between us. However, it was Lord's will that we met. In a dream on 19th of April 2022, Lord has shown to me this new door opening before me and in a second dream on the following day, on 20th April 2022, Lord Jesus Christ has shown to me a man who wanted to marry a girl, gained her by hitting the target with a disc from where he was sitting. Further to subsequent events, 45 days later, on 19th of May 2022, Lord made it clear to me that he is his pleasing goodwill for me and he wanted me to go to him. Hence, we met on 18th of June this summer in Iceland, and on that day he asked me to marry him no less than three times, and we have exchanged marriage vows in the presence of the Lord under the heavenly cloud of witnesses on the next day, on 19th of June 2022. Sadly, little I knew he had an addiction problem, for he was addicted to online sexual immorality and spending his substance on harlots from all over the world. He was a target for traffickers, for adulterers, for sexually immoral, including homosexuals. Over the years, he has spent large sum of money onto these people who deceived him and used them. Although we exchanged marriage once in the presence of the Lord, and he always called me my wife, and he referred himself as my husband, Due to his decision regarding his involvement with the wrong crowd, let him his downfall. He is now tied up with the wrong crowd, with the solicitors that even gain access to his private messages with me, which praise the Lord who made it known to me, by making him forward his messages onto a solicitor woman 
who I have been told is homosexual and the same solicitor who told them to break up with me and stated that it was to their advantage that I don't even live in the country. And my partner, whom regarded me as his wife and himself as my husband, and whom exchanged marriage was with me in the presence of the Lord, upon receiving this instruction from this homosexual solicitor, broke up with me without an explanation and blocked me from all communications. For he wanted to continue his walk with them, with the wrong crowd, leading him to his eternal death, rather than pursuing peace and love and walking with the Lord. The influence of the wrong crowd led him back to the harlots and sexual immorality yet once again. Today he is in the grips of the wicked, facing the snare of the father, and does not feel any strength left in him, nor want to release himself from their grip, for he seems pleased to liaise with the harlots and play harlotry with traffickers from all over the world and spend his substance on them down to his last penny. He has refused the Lord and his place and goodwill upon his life, and as we speak walking on to his death without realizing it, I have seen how the wicked one uses the people to get to us if you let it. For as you know, not all are God's people, not all are God's children, and those who do not belong to God, as you know, serve the wicked one. And that's what the situation regarding him, who allowed the wicked dictate his life, because he gave the wicked one the footstool in his life. As Lord states in Jeremiah, he changed his gods, which are not gods. He changed the glory of God to what does not profit him. He has chosen harlotry, while the Lord says, keep the marriage bed pure. He has chosen to depend on the mortals, while God says, depend on me only. There is much more can be said about the matter, but unless he realizes and unless he releases himself from their grip, of the wicked and turns to the Lord, sadly, there's not much we could do except to pray for him. His death called them parable of the lost son of the New Testament in Luke chapter 15, in which we read the son asked his portion of the inheritance and went to a far country and spent it all on prodigal, foolish living. And Bible says he began to be in want and no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he went to his father and said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Bible says when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. His father said, let us eat and be merry, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Amen. This is the story of him who is regarded as the lost son of the New Testament, who decided to waste his substance with foolish living and allowing even his private, ship, private relationship to be dictated by a homosexual solicitors and others. He walked away from the Lord, the one person who can help him, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Instead of depending on him, he has decided to depend on mortals, who is leading him to his eternal death. He has turned his back to Lord Jesus Christ, who can help him only. Lord Jesus Christ says, whatever situation you face, seek peace and love. Yet my partner, despite saying over and over he loves me, walked away from me, hence walked away from Lord Jesus Christ due to his choice in life. As Lord Jesus Christ states, he who hears you hears me, he who rejects you rejects me, and he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Luke chapter 10 verse 16. Let's pray that he finds in himself to stand up like a man against the wicked and the vile and shed them out of his life and follow Lord Jesus Christ only. I pray to God that rather than looking onto these mortals who cannot save themselves, 
he looks up to the perfecter of faith, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The only Son of God. Amen. I pray to God that he is healed of bad relationships, broken hearts and promises of the past. I pray that the Lord our God, who is righteous, will grant wisdom and understanding unto him for the glory of our Heavenly Father and his Holy Spirit will never depart from him for the Lord our God is one and we are one with him in Christ Jesus. Amen. Our second hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Build My Life. Amen. Yeah. 
before our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, in the verse of Creed, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end we believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son with the father and the son he is worshipped and glorified he has spoken through the prophets we believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come Amen. Let us pray to the Father. Almighty God, you have promised that you will come near to us when we come near to you. Cleanse our hands and purify our hearts as we bow before you and bring before you the needs of our world, saying, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for one another as we meet the trials and testing of our faith. In our pain, give us perseverance. In our ignorance, wisdom. In our doubt, faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, neighbors, and friends. In our life together, give us love and humility. Make us quick to listen and slow to anger. Make us doers as well as hearers of your word. Take away envy, ambition, and disorder. Make us peacemakers full of peace and integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in need, inside and outside the church, for those who care for orphans and widows, for those whose actions meet the needs, of those without clothes and daily bread, and those who wear gold rings and fine raiment. We pray for justice in our society, for forgiveness of our favorite sin, and for the insight to love those who are rich in faith, yet poor in the eyes of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our government and for the leaders of the nations, for those who put faith into practice and words into deeds. Set a guard over their words and take away the cause of quarrels and fighting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray in faith for those who are sick and in trouble, for time to pray, for people to pray with, for hands to convey your healing, for prayer to be answered. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We rejoice in our fellowship with all those who, like Abraham, are counted righteous before you, because faith and actions are working together. Bring us together with the poor and all your saints to inherit the kingdom you promised to those who love you. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. In your holy name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In a moment of silence, let each of us bring our own private prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God calls us to peace. In God's justice is our peace. Christ calls us to be God's people. In Christ is our peace. The peace of the Lord always be with you. Amen. And now we give you thanks because you have anointed your son as the Messiah, the light of the nations and revealed him as the hope of all who thirst for righteousness and peace. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, and evermore praising thee, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was, and is, and is to come, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Amen. We praise you and bless you, O loving Father, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. As we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may before us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. Thank you, my Father. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, Thank you, my father. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favor on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all your saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, O loving Father, now and forever forever and ever. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Amen. Bread of life in Christ Jesus, to keep you for eternal life. Amen.
cup of life in Christ Jesus shed for you for remission of your sins to keep you for eternal life. Amen. Great God, you are one God and you bring together what is scattered and men what is broken. Unite us with the scattered peoples of the earth that we may be one family of your children. Bind up all our wounds and heal us in spirit that we may be renewed as disciples of Jesus Christ, our Master and our Saviour. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thanks be to our God, amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times, amen. May the blessings of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always, amen. Go in the peace and love of God and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Our final hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is God of Revival. Amen. We see what you can do. Oh God of wonders, your power has no end. The things you've done before, in greater measure, you will do again. There's no prison wall you can break through, mountain you can move. All things are possible No broken body you can raise No can save All things are possible In the darkest night you can light it up You can light it up God of revival, let hope arise, death is overcome, you've already won, oh God of revival, you rose in victory, now you're seated, forever on the throne. So why should my heart fear what you defeated? I will trust in you alone. There's no prison wall you can't break through. Mountain you can move. All things are possible, yeah. There's no broken body you can raise. So you cannot say all things are possible. In the darkest night, you can light it up. You can light it up. God of 